He has helped millions of toddlers learn the alphabet, their shapes, colors, about sharing, making friends, singing songs, even about potty training. But no toddler and few parents could likely tell you his name. That's because his talents find expression through an alter ego called Elmo. And on the off chance there are any young Elmo fans in the room, now be a good time to go brush teeth. Here's ABC's Juju Chang. It's a nondescript bag, but inside is a creature with the power to mesmerize millions of children the world over. Just a yard or so of furry fabric, a little foam, and lots of PDA. Give him a hug! Yeah. <laughs> kiss, kiss. Elmo, how come you like to hug people all the time? Oh, come on. Come Wait, here. Can come I? Elmo. Oh, thank you, Elmo. See, doesn't it feel nice? You're, it does feel nice. So that's why Elmo likes to hug. Yeah. Elmo has a simple nature. Elmo his own song. What's it called? Elmo's song. His shtick, improv, superb comic timing, and a wide range of facial expressions for a furry monster. How about a happy face? How about a mad face? But we confronted him about something shocking you might not know about Elmo. Who's Kevin Clash? Who? Kevin Clash? Oh, he's somebody down there. We don't really talk about him that much. You don't? How come? Mm -hmm. Well, because he's not supposed to be seen. It's okay. Elmo is not who he appears to be. <laughs> Does it freak out children when they discover that Elmo is, in fact, a middle-aged black man? They don't look at me. Half, most of the time, they don't. Elmo is a puppet. All the time. And this is master puppeteer Kevin Clash. And if mommy and daddy, you want to meet Elmo, you can do that too. You are Elmo, but you can't be Elmo all the time because people <laughs> would think you're too weird. No, I mean, I couldn't walk around saying, Hey, everybody, good morning. <laughs> How you doing? Taxi. But are you a big kid at heart? Yeah, yeah. I have a Peter Pan syndrome. Kevin's journey from working-class Baltimore to international stardom is chronicled in a new award-winning documentary, Being Elmo. It delves into Kevin's early obsession with puppets. You sewed 80 puppets. Yeah, well, my mom taught me how to sew on the Singer sewing machine, probably at the age of 9, 10. What did kids tease you about? What oh, did you they sleep say? with your puppets, you play with dolls. And then I did my first local television show. Everybody thought, wow, that's cool. So that went away. And then you became most likely to become a millionaire. Yes, of course. Did that come true? Did you become a millionaire? Yeah. Not bad for a kid who plays with dolls. No. Hello? Before Kevin, the little red monster, who is forever three years old, was almost tossed aside. That's the first drawings, designs of Elmo. He's a little much, bit wider. He's much wider. Yeah. That's and very, very crazy. small body, but that's the first design of him. In this early Sesame Street episode, Elmo, voiced by another puppeteer, used to sound quite different. Uh, Elmo squeaked balloon too hard. I thought any day now I was going to probably be left go. <laughs> you uh, did not. Oh, yeah. yeah but, but Kevin came up with a new voice. Hello, this is Elmo. And is saved good. Elmo. <laughs> And Elmo made Kevin a star. Are you tickled? Well, Elmo's for... Don't, 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 no, stop! No, we're seriously. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Elmo is... Oh. I mean, <laughs> it's the laugh that launched a toy phenomenon. Something, something nice. Sonia Manzano has played Maria on Sesame Street for over 40 years. What is it that every child in the world seems to connect with? Well, he's absolutely positive. Things cannot go wrong. Elmo can fix it, and Elmo is going to make things well. At only 18 inches, Elmo stands tall in the pantheon of Jim Henson's Muppet creations. Look at this. You open it, has all these different eyes. Oh, my golly. Like this one's for me. Noses. Noses. Oh, mustaches. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Kevin maintains the Henson legacy. And that's what's actually, actually what's inside of Elmo's arms. Oh, really? Yeah, beats. Okay. Perhaps the only regret for a man who's entertained the world's children is that his own child, after his divorce, felt neglected. So she actually came to you and said, Dad, you need to pay attention to me. Well, yeah. And, you know, a child can do that in a second. Yeah. Bring you right back down to Yeah. It. And she did, and, 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 uh, and, and uh, we're the better for it. And yet, the hours are still long. At public events, Kevin makes sure Elmo greets nearly each and every child. Knock, knock. Okay, who's there? Kangaroo. Kangaroo who? <laughs> Kangaroo eating a wine over for peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Elmo has no idea what she just said. But Elmo loves her. Elmo loves everyone. 
which is why, perhaps, everyone loves Elmo. For Nightline, I'm Juju Chang in New York.